Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Jan Morgan! Thank you! What a great crowd today! Thank you all for being here with me. Just want you to know that Nancy uh, Carlton here is going to be, she is actually on live. We're on Facebook, you're joining millions of people around America right now. So don't think she's out here getting pictures where she's not supposed to. Nancy, you need to get around front. And sometimes when I talk, I want you to scan around the people too, not just uh, Jan. This is about the people. So I want people, other people around the world to feel like they're here with us today. So how does it feel to be a deplorable in America today? It's a great day in America. You know, we are watching history in progress. Oh yeah. History is a funny thing. You see, this, this day today. This moment that you and I are sharing together is passing as we speak and we'll never be able to recapture this moment again. So how will this moment in our history be defined? I believe around the world decades to come that this period in America's history will be defined as that period in America when freedom was restored, when tyranny was taken away, when freedom was restored to the people, and the power was taken from the government and handed back to the people of the United States. The Constitutional Republic that our founding fathers envisioned, that they wrote about, that they fought and died for, then handed to us, is in the process, folks, on this very day, at this very moment, of being restored forever. You know, our founders knew that America's greatest domestic enemy was our own federal government. You know, I, I noticed in the crowd today, we've got some protesters. That's fine. You know, actually, I'm glad you're here because that's what America's all about. Freedom to speak. Yes. And I'm glad you're here. And the fact that we don't always all agree on everything is what makes America great. But that we can gather in peaceful gatherings and disagree and engage in civilized debate and discussion and walk away without making it personal but walk away a stronger America. That's what makes us great. Someone said when I walked up, there's a guy here in a black mask and he's in a black hoodie and we're gonna keep an eye on him for you. I said, oh, he's okay. Look, I faced over 100,000 pink vagina hat women in Washington, D.C. who were screaming and yelling at me at the top of their lungs when I was trying to speak. And if I survive that, I can survive anything. You know, I don't know where he is. I, I never did see him because I wasn't looking for him. I was scanning the crowd for all people. You know, for decades, people, here, here's how we got to this, this place in our history. For decades, our Republicans, our Democrats in power, both parties have fallen into a rut of partisan politics. Yeah. And they gradually, over the decades, have been sucking away the liberty of the people and yes. handing it over to the federal government. Yes. Yeah. That's changing today. Yes. yes. You see, folks, where we are today, what we've been fighting for, in spite of what many people think, this wasn't a fight about or against Obama or Hillary or the Democrats. This was a fight for our constitutional republic, for our freedom. It was a fight for the people to take the power back and return it to the people. You know, it got really bad for a time, didn't it? I mean, talk about micromanagement. Our federal government was, was in the business and I'm not making this up, right? They were telling us what bathrooms we're supposed to use. Who we have to bake cakes for. What words in our own language that were now offensive and potentially 
illegal. Couldn't say, couldn't pray. Yes, California for you. We found a man, folks. We found a man. Donald J. Trump. Who was not controlled by party politics. We found a man who would listen to us. Yes. The forgotten people. The deplorables. The adorable deplorables. We found a man who was willing to take all the bullets for us, didn't we, folks? Yes. We found a man who would lead us into D.C. and lead us in this fight to take our country back. He was a guy that we could trust to represent us in the most politically incorrect way. <laughs> Folks, let me tell you, we won that initial battle, but we are in a war. And it is going to be one hell of a fight. But I can assure you, hang with him. Hang with him. Don't bail out on him when the, when the going gets rough. Hang with him. Because when the dust clears, we have a president representing us who once he gets the balance of powers restored, he's going to stare them down and say, stand back. Stand down, judicial branch. Stand down, legislative branch. All of these powers that have been regulating and legislating away our freedom, he's going to say, stand down. He's going to push that reset button, say, stand down, and we will let you know when we need you. You know, I love political cartoons. If I was an artist, which I'm not. But if I was drawing a cartoon to describe what's happening right now at this very moment in America, can't you just see it? Here's Donald Trump. He's up there with all the patriots in tow behind him. And here's the federal government with its big, strong, abusive arms around our liberties, right? And they're holding on tight and they're screaming and yelling. And the only thing they can do, because they can't fall back on the Constitution and Bill of Rights to yell at us, all they can yell back is racist, Islamophobe, misogynist, sexist. Yes. <laughs> I mean, you name it, we've been called it. Yes. So here they are. Here's the federal government holding on to all that power. And here's Donald Trump and his administration ripping out the pieces and tossing it back to the people. Yeah. One piece at a time. Trump knew from the very beginning, and this is why we love him, isn't it? Yeah. He knew from the very beginning that this wasn't about Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump was already a legend in himself. It's about we the people. Yeah. Donald Trump said from the very beginning, this America is a movement. Yeah. You know what Ronald Reagan said once about the movement? He said, when you start a movement, you never know where that movement will end. We meant to change a nation, and instead, we changed the world. America is the world's beacon of hope and freedom. And folks, make no mistake, the world is watching us right now. No arsenal, no weapon in all the arsenals of the world is more formidable. No weapon is more formidable as the will and the moral courage of free men and women. Yes, folks, we the people are about to be free again. I can feel it. I mean, I was saying Merry Christmas on election night, right? America is about to be free again. America is about to be safe again. Yes. And by gosh, America is going to be great again. Yeah.